This is how my day is starting. Yep, just happened. Shit. Got it right the second time. Happy Monday, everybody. Today's to-do list, because I think I start like working, working today. I'm waiting to hear back from my new boss. Um, I'm going to do laundry, and I my goal, I'm probably gonna start this soon, is get these all organized, color coordinated, by brand, and start putting them up there. So I'll probably like lay them all out on the living room floor because I think that'll be easiest to figure out, like to sort them out. But I don't know, It's I haven't done it in so long and they got so disorganized the last time. So I don't know, but laundry, nail polish. I have to do my planner setup for this week because I didn't do it yesterday. So I'm gonna do that this morning. You know, just little odds and ends plus workout. I am so sore from our workout yesterday. I can't wait to see how Eddie feels because he's not used to doing like a plan like that. So I'm excited to see how sore he is and then I'll feel really accomplished if he's like dead sore, not dead in real life. Cause then I would really suck. The sorting process has begun. I've broken all my nail polishes down by brand and Essie has volunteered as tribute to go first in the nail polish racks. So I have Simple Colors, Butter London, Sally Hansen Extreme Hardware, OPI, OPI Minis, Top Coats. Oh, don't run away. Sally Hansen Gel and Salon Manicure. Sinful Colors, Nicole by OPI, Spa Ritual, or, yeah, I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Orly, Revlon, Sephora by OPI, Mini Sephora by OPI, uh, Revlon Brilliant Strength, one random L'Oreal. He doesn't belong there. Here's all the Essies and their color coordinated lines. Zoya, Mini Zoya. Uh, Deborah Lipman, Burrell, Maybelline Color Show, like NYC. These are like my like least used freebies, like Nail Teeny. These were free from Ipsy Bags. And these are just like, I don't know, random guys that really don't have a home. So these are gonna go in first and I'm de deciding between pink, pink, purple, then this, I don't know. Like that's, it looks really pretty once it's all done. I know how excessive it sounds, but trust me you'll like the outcome as much as I do. Are you guys ready for the final nail polish rack reveal? I'm very excited. Here we have Essie, Zoya, some Butter London, some Deborah Lipman, the Sally Hansons, all my OPIs, Sephora by OPI, Simple Colors, China Glaze, Nicole by OPI, Revlon, Revlon, Color Show, Maybelline, Top Coats, Nail Art. So as you can tell, I have a lot of room to add more polishes to my collection. Well, I've just slowed down on the purchasing front because I haven't really felt the need to buy any in a while. But uh, I haven't looked at any of the fall winter collections just yet. I think the most recent polish I've purchased <laughs> the most recent polish I purchased was probably this, which is Essie, I think. I don't really remember. It's been, it really has been a while, so that's a good thing. But I can't wait till Eddie gets up and sees this. He's gonna be like, no more. And I'm gonna be like, I'm buying all the polishes I want. Hey. I'm taking a mini break from work right now. It is quarter to three and Eddie and I are gonna head to the gym around four to do legs. But I'm gonna pre-prepare some of what I'm making us for dinner tonight. What I'm making is chicken meatloaf in butternut squash. It's actually it's actually a recipe that aired last week on the, um, the Chew, which is a talk show. I don't know if anybody has seen it, but I really like it. If you like cooking, it's a really good talk show. Um, they made it with turkey. I don't like ground turkey and I'm actually getting Eddie to try it. So I'm pretty excited because he says he says he doesn't like butternut squash, but I know he does. Um, so yeah, so what you do is you cut the squash in half or you can buy it pre-cut in half. Um, I just didn't. And you scoop out the insides. This one is significantly larger because I could not cut them well, but I'll give him this piece and um, it probably will work out better. But if you can cut them evenly, do it. And then you want to go in and scour it and make it into like little, I'll show you what it looks like because I can't explain it. You just cut crisscrosses into it and then you drizzle it with oil, salt and pepper, 
bake it, and then you put this chicken meatloaf in after. But I'm not doing any of that until we get back from the gym, so I'll show you that process. Because my battery's dying. I had to leave you guys home when we went to the gym just now for leg day because the battery completely died on me. But we weren't even there long. We did a half hour and we just hit our legs really hard. I did glutes and hamstrings. Eddie did, what did you do, quads? I did everything. Eddie did all around the legs. I just focused on the um, one muscle group. I can actually, if you guys are interested, since I'm starting to like lift now, um, if you want me to put the workouts I'm doing down below, I can, just ask me. Um, how do you feel? Like a champion. What? Like a champion. Oh, I thought you said it in a different language. He's a little pissed off right now because we left our bedroom door open and out of pure spite, the love of my life, Moo Moo, Max. Who did it? Peed on our bedroom floor. Why did you do that? He doesn't know now. It's he doesn't know now? No, 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 no. I don't believe any of that because... I was filming over here this whole time. Yeah, that's silly. I don't believe any of that because whenever they do something bad, you're like, oh, they don't remember doing that now. But... They always remember that there's food, that when they want they do, something. Dogs do have, like, as, they have a great memory, but they do not remember everything. They, they only don't remember when they act like assholes. Is that what it is? Don't say that. They can hear you. Oh, they can. Anyway, he's going to take them out for a walk while I cook. By the way, I wanted to show you. So I, um, I don't know if it's called scoured, but I sliced diagonally, diagonally both ways. and I Scored. Scored, yes, that's it. Scoured's when you scored. take scouring powder. Score! And... <laughs> um, so I did that with olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and I'm going to do Parmesan cheese. And then I'm just throwing in some frozen broccoli on the side to make some, I'm one of those people, like if you're cooking something in a pan, you might as well just toss everything in. And then I'm going to make, that goes in for a half hour at 375. Then you drop the oven temp down to 350 and add the meatloaf inside and cook it. I think for another half hour, I have to check. For my chicken portion of the recipe, I have half a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, garlic, half of a white onion diced, parsley, roasted garlic and herb grill mates, perfect pins rotisserie chicken, some black pepper, and I'm gonna put in one egg. I'm gonna toss it all together with one pound of ground chicken. And then that I'm gonna make into two big meatballs to go inside of the butternut squash, but because Eddie is a meat man, he is going to get extra meatloaf on the side. Broccoli's out. Chicken is stuffed into the holes of the butternut squash, tops with more Parmesan. And then this is all the leftover chicken that I'm making a side meatloaf with. Going back in the oven at 350 this time for 40 minutes. And there you have it, folks. I just cut mine just to make sure it was cooked, even though I know it was cooked from this guy. It looks and smells so, so good. And I'm a huge butternut squash fan. I'm just making Eddie broccoli. I added some cheese whiz to it because gotta give the man a little bit of what he wants when it comes to dinner. This, this is his first time trying butternut squash. So I'm pretty excited to see what he thinks of it. I think he's gonna like it. I, I'm pretty confident in my cooking skills that he'll actually like it. Bon appetit. Okay, you have to take your bite now. feel about this looks pretty hot it shouldn't be too hot wow it's really good are you lying yes no it's really good it is right butternut squash yeah. is delish oh. <laughs> oh you want more i cannot stuff another morsel into my stomach it was like so much food. Eddie, you like yours, I guess. I did. Are you stuffed or are you still hungry? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, you know, I'm done eating because I know that in like 10 minutes I'll be full. Oh, see, I know I'm full right now. No, see, my brain takes me like 20 minutes to tell me that I'm full. Uh huh. That's why I do so good at buffets because I just stuff like five plates of food <laughs> in my face. <laughs> I just try to get it all in before the 20 minute mark. Before your body's like, no! Yeah. No more! Usually by then it's already too late. I would never be able to do a buffet. Oh, One, man. because I, I'm a little like... With them. You gotta go to Ryan's. Ryan's is amazing. Where's that? We went there, didn't we? When we went to South Carolina? Probably. Yeah. No, no, no. We went to... Mm. Shirley's. Sh Shelly's. Sheely's? Some, Shelly's. Yeah. Ugh. 
The food was the food tasted good, but it was just kind of scary. It was like somebody's house that they converted into a cafeteria, but then converted into a buffet. From what I remember, is I was extremely overwhelmed and grossed out. Buffets in general just gross me out. That's me. That's a personal thing because not me. The I just I don't I think it's gross. Like I dominate I, buffets. Yeah, I you, dominate the Chinese buffet. Oh, that's like the one I would never, ever, ever go to as a Chinese buffet. Ever, My grandparents loved going to those. I don't eat like the seafood, but I manhandle me some general chows, fried rice. I just think about all the people. Oh no, it's terrible for you. That no, I mean like delicious. like like dirty wise. Like oh. I think about all the people sneezing on that stuff and like like that's the salad bars at bar. places. There's that's like not, weird they put people. Their heads uh, under there. There's always those people though that like pick with their it's, dirty butt hands it's always, into the well, salad it's always, bar. Yeah, I mean like the kids with their dirty butt hands sticking their Yeah, hands. that's what I'm saying. Like that's, so that's why, why butt hands really sure skeep me out. You go, oh man, that never bothered me. Like, you just don't care. Like I overthink everything when it comes to like food and like I get skeeved out very easily. Like even with like raw meat and stuff, like it just, if something looks weird to me, it turns my stomach and I just can't eat it. And that's like what buffets do. Buffets just turn my stomach. Like when we went to that one, all I ate was rolls. And it was like a waste of, like it's a waste of money for me to go to those. Not me. You go with me, you know you're getting your money's worth. Well, meanwhile, yeah, that's like Eddie at a wedding. Don't invite, don't invite us to your wedding. I'm just what? letting you know. Don't invite us to your wedding because Eddie will clear the buffet and eat everything. And then as he's sitting there and they're doing past hors d'oeuvres, he'll just collect plates and plates and plates of food. You, miss, were grabbing them for me and piling them up, okay? I didn't even ask for them. I well, went up I to was... get sushi and I came back and there was like five plates of prosciutto and chicken sitting there. I knew he to liked me. it, but then I was embarrassed. But you're like the person that's like, you shouldn't do heroin, but here, have this. I'm an enabler. You are, an, that's the word. A I'm martyr. Thinking. An enabling martyr. You're, yes, you're an, a hypocrite. That's what it is. A hippo. Because you know. Happy, happy as a hippo. Happy as yeah, a hippo. If you guys have any recommendations for any good buffets in Virginia, I am open because I haven't been to a buffet in so long. Actually, there probably is some good reviews on Yelp. I'm gonna have to look. It would be Alexandria. It would be Alexandria, Virginia, Washington D.C., Arlington, Woodbridge. Maryland, I guess, like Southern Maryland. Yes. Southern Maryland, like we're really close. We're in an area where we're close to so many different places, so that's a plus. Why are we talking about buffets after we just stuffed our faces? Well, it came about because I said that I'm not full yet. Yeah. But well, now I'm starting to feel it. Yeah, I'm like I could probably roll myself to the couch. The problem is I get really, really full really fast, and then it digests, and I want ice cream. I'm about ready for ice cream. I was full. Only 724. Now, I will, now that you just mentioned ice cream. I'm totally yeah. having uh, ice cream during the voice. I got a cleaned up dinner, actually. So, actually, I cooked, so you clean. I cooked yesterday, and I cleaned, and I cooked the day before, and I cleaned. The day before? You weren't here. The last day mm -hmm. that I was here before. Our first fruit fly attempt was a failure. So, mine. Mine. mine was a failure, so now we are making a second one. So it's a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Yep. Banana. Just well, some. I'm glad you're eating it so it's not a waste. Fruit. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste it. And then what else? A paper. I hate them. I hate them so much. Fruit flies, besides spiders, are like my most favorited, my most favorited, my most hated of the bug family. I hate all bugs. Let's, I'm not biased. They all suck, right? Paper. Come from the Prince of Peppa. I don't know where that came from. Oh, dish soap. Now the reason we use dish soap. Don't waste it. Is because it will release the surface tension of the water. So that way the flies won't, um, they won't be able to just flow at the top. They'll sink. But I, I mean, I guess, I guess the key is the funnel and the banana. Maybe a bigger piece of banana. No, you don't need a bigger piece because once it starts to break down, the fruit flies are going to smell it and pretty much will dive bomb it in there. Mm. Base, her funnel, though, her fruit fly trap had to do with red wine. Well, I mean, red wine could work because it's it's made from it's made from fermented excuse berries. Me when my, well, yeah, I mean, it's he red. can't do two things. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm totally. <laughs> Totally capable. He's not capable of it. It's okay though. 
I am like the master multitasker, so that's one of those things we balance each I other out. I need something that will help this stick together. Is there a little piece of tape somewhere? Uh, I think that there is a piece of wash. Oh, there's a piece of tape right here, Mr. Ed. Why are you talking to me like a... A goon? I don't really know. I'm feeling very silly. So now... You got, you got the eggplant squash sillies? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, not squash sillies. <laughs> and he doesn't eat many vegetables, can you guys tell? <laughs> this is a very boring science experiment. It's not a science experiment. This is gonna save our home. <laughs> save our home. Save our home. So Help me. Now, God willing, the fruit flies will go in there and die. All right, kiddos, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I had my gelato, which is probably, what? I'm full, I'm very upset because I have a sink full of dishes because the dishwasher is being run and I'm going to watch the rest of my show in bed and I'm not gonna be able to empty it and reload it before the night is out. Don't look at me. But, Eddie for the win, he already caught one. So let's see. I hope for there to be at least... Oh, wait, there's two in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you didn't see this guy because he's floating. He's floating in the abyss. Look. Oh, right he's there. hanging on. Yeah, he's... He's fucking, dead. He's dead. The other one... Yeah, this guy, no, he's too. dead too because the, the apple cider vinegar touched him. So your method wins. Eddie Schroeder, master fruit fly killer. Kill him dead. He Why'd you poke yourself in the head? <laughs> I was hearing myself. Oh, your ear? Is that how you hear yourself? You, you hear yourself? Like that? That's what you do. When you, you sing, no, one, you go, hey. -ha. Still sounds the same. Uh, yeah, but you hear. Uh, okay, we love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>